OK, so now let's get the virtual machine itself. So we go to the virtual machine menu, and at the end is the certain TV Atlas open data virtual machine. Here you will find this uh, big button where you can download this file. This file is something like a 3.8 gigabyte size. So it's a big file, let's say. Um, the suggestion, let's say the, the recommendation is to have at least 10 gigabytes free in your computer. So you are able to handle this virtual machine in a, in a nice way, let's say, <clears throat> the virtual machine and the real one. So let's start the download of this one. And in the meantime, I will explain a couple of, of characteristics of, of this, um, this virtual machine. So we'll say yes. And we'll start to download the file. OK, once again, depends on your connection, depends on of your hardware. This can take a few minutes, 10 minutes, 50 minutes, so just um, be patient. The other thing that is very important also is that once you get it, for example, once you get it uh, in your computer, you can always carry uh, the virtual machine in a pen drive also. Of course, we distribute to the internet, but once you imagine that you have a classroom, 10 people, 20 people there, you can easily just copy the file into different uh, units like, like this one and carry the, the file completely offline. Also, for example, the VirtualBox application. So you don't need to, to request to each of your students, or each of your uh, trainees at that moment to, to get the file from the internet, but to copy from a, from a storage like a USB drive. So, OK, this is downloading. Um, let me talk about a little bit uh, regarding to the virtual machine. So this is an, uh, a Linux an Ubuntu installation. It have a root installation also, and um, the version is 6.80 with configuration all. Also have Jupyter, of course, this is, what we'll, this is why we want this virtual machine mainly. Uh, we have four kernels there. You can use Bash, Python 2, Python 3, and root C++ kernels. We have also an installation of TensorFlow for some exercise that you may want to uh, develop there, and demos of the examples, like notebooks, and the analysis framework that we already have there. So. Again, I will speed up a little bit this so you can you can see how to start the virtual machine and start to work. Okay, now we have the OVA file, so the virtual machine file. We simply need to click this, and because we already have VirtualBox, so VirtualBox will understand that this file has to be open with this application. Okay, you don't need to do anything else. Just simply click on there, and you will see the importation um, process. So we'll essentially show you right now. What's the, the virtual machine about? So this is the version four that we have um, for the uh, 13, re 13 TB release. We this is, once again an Ubuntu machine. We'll use something like a three gigabytes for your computer and one single CPU. Okay. So we simply say import. Another window will appear. Another pop-up. Let's say to accept the the license. This this uh, software. Let's say this tool. Uh, have been released with a Creative Commons attribution, no commercial share alike. So essentially, the idea is that the people, of course, can use it for no commercial purpose and build on top of that. You know, uh, even improve it and, and make a suggestion also how to how to make it better. So you just simply agree, and and the import will start once again. Will take one to five minutes, depending in this case of your hardware. Um, but this is a single. Time process. So once again, we just we have to do this only once. When this is done, the next time that we use our build on machine, we don't need to do um, this process. Of course, it will be there for us. Okay. Once the machine is ready, imported, we simply have to start the machine or double click here, or simply with this star arrow on the top. Let's do that. Once again, it will open uh, an Ubuntu machine. But for this video, we simply will go and see how to use this virtual machine as our own server, uh, our own Jupyter server for um, obviously executing Jupyter Notebook, but not only, but also to interact with Roots, with the analysis framework, um, with the, the rest of the application that we put here through your browser. OK, so again, our virtual machine in this case will be our server. And we connect our server through the, the browser. <clears throat> so every time that you will use the virtual machine, again, for example, you turn it off, and I will show you how to turn it off. So tomorrow you come back to work. Essentially, you will see the same with your virtual box, very probably only this virtual machine. You just have to double click or 
the start button and start the virtual machine. So this virtual machine has a single user installed. It's called a student. For all the purpose of password, it, that means the root password, the password of the student user also is root, R-O-O-T. For again, every time that you find that you need a password, this is the password in all the cases. So when the machine finished to start, okay, we will uh, come back to our browser. So the browser that we use to download the virtual machine and to download VirtualBox, okay? No inside the virtual machine. <clears throat> Simply open a new tab in this browser, and we will, tap, we will type, sorry, localhost 2.8888. What is not the first time I do this here? So localhost 8888. And we'll be connected now to our virtual machine. Okay. The first time, and once again, only the first time that you install a virtual machine, it will appear this um, interface where they're asking you for a password. So as I already mentioned, the password here will be root. So R O O T, no capital letters, and login. And we have a Jupyter um, user interface. Okay. Um, as mentioned before, also we have several repositories here. In the next video, I will show you how to uh, run some of the examples, so the notebooks example, and in the next video, how to run the our software framework analysis. So in this case, we simply go through one of these to show you how it works. So we can go into the notebooks, the 13 TB examples, Python example once again, and we can open one of these. This is a simple histogram production. So every time that you open or uh, a notebook or any other uh, file, a terminal, for example, you can come back here and show you that you have a menu here. We will go deeply about the Jupyter in the next video. But again, you have the opportunity to create different notebooks or other kind of files or application like a terminal. Every time that you do this, it will be open in a new in a new tab. Okay. Once again, this is. Uh, Loading here, so we are able to browse and check our exercise or our example in this case. Okay? Also, we have interactivity in the plots. Again, they will be shown in the next video. Hopefully, uh, it will be interesting to see that also. But let's come back to our virtual machine, and with this, conclude this tutorial. So we have a single user, in this case, student, and the password is root. R O O T. So we we'll deploy for the, the entire machine. And we'll be able to essentially turn it off as uh, we will do in, in a normal Ubuntu installation. Okay, we have here. So and basically we have this menu at the top where we can say we have the opportunity to or turn it off or restart, or really to cancel. But you can simply, once you finish your work, when you, you know, end of the day, end of the class, you can keep your, keep your virtual machine, obviously, but you turn it off so all the resources that the virtual machine was using from your real computer can be put back to you so you can do any other of your activities there. Let's just simply turn it off and we'll do this, the, the normal um, process to go down. And you will see a couple of things here. One is that obviously you will lose connection with your server. Yes, once again, your virtual machine is your server. And because it's off, you will see this message. So that can be very useful because sometimes people leave it on and go back next morning and say, oh, I find this message. The simplest thing that you can do is just reboot your virtual machine and you will come back to where you were. So once again, this time is powered off. And with this, please. Follow the next video where you will start to interact with the notebooks and with the analysis framework.